Hello, this is Daniel Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide. Like any YouTube content creator, I keep a number of script ideas in my head in sort of a prioritized list. For a while, in the middle of the list, was doing a high-level video about how to prepare for a wipe, since we all knew that eventually, between alpha and beta and release, when iCache was fully implemented, when quanti economy was let loose, there would be, and certainly be, a full wipe. Well, yesterday CIG announced that eventually would be next month with 3.15, and both the priority and title of the piece instantly changed. So here are the steps to planning for the wipe. Step 1. Understand what your situation will be. What will you still have after the wipe? What won't you? Well, log into the RSI website and click the link at the upper right hand corner saying account and then the button saying my hanger. Essentially, everything that is on the list here, you will have after the wipe. Anything not on this list will be gone, gone, gone. CIG did note that Xenothreat participants may get a little extra bonus, but you have no idea of whether it will happen or how large it will be. CIG will not want to make it so big as to create a dual class universe in the game. The biggest setbacks you'll be facing are the loss of most of your Alpha UEC and the loss of any ships and items purchased with in-game currency. That will be a big setback. After nearly two years since the last wipe, most of us are in a comfortable enough financial position in the game to spend whatever we need in the game and to have a ship for pretty much every role we were interested in. After the wipe, well, the last time I did this kind of planning, the road to financial rebound in the game was to build an initial purse with delivery missions, and then have a ship with a big hold and just haul unlimited Laranite back and forth from mining outpost to planet. And my purchased ships reflected that. But what I have been flying mostly in the verse for money making now are three ships that I bought with in-game currency that will be disappearing. Now, maybe 3.15 will be the release that makes cargo trading the big deal again, but they haven't been saying that. So, step two, have a plan. Should I melt or CC you all those old ships and get the three that I have been flying? No, because first of all, I still have hopes of being a trader and hauler in the game, and second of all, I can't fly three ships at once. I won't even be able to fuel and rearm three ships at once with the money I will have after the wipe. Think carefully and pick the one route that you will pursue to financial recovery. Hopefully something that for you is both profitable and fun and you are good at. Don't make it into a grind unnecessarily. Then make a realistic assessment of what you will need to get there. Then possibly CCU some ship to the one that you will need for that. But be realistic. That is important. So, for example, you might say, Oh, I'll just bang out a few extreme risk threat missions and I'll be rolling in dough again. No, you won't. You won't have the reputation to be given ERT, and you won't have enough money to buy all the bounty hunter license missions to get you there right away. And you'll still need fuel and ammo costs, and let's not forget that medical rescue missions in 3.15 will cost money that you may not have. So take a step back and think more about the details of what you are going to need on that path back to ERT missions. And think of your requirements beyond just in-game assets. For example, you might say, I'll just get a hurricane and blast through medium and high risk missions at a dozen per hour, which is actually a good plan. Except that you need one, a hurricane, and two, somebody in the second seat. So part of your plan has to be to put together some other folks who agree that your post-white blitz will be to do hurricane missions together. Step three, have an alternate plan. So let's say you have thought, hey, those halt illegal surveillance missions, pay well, and don't have a lot of upfront requirements. I'll just jump in and start grabbing a bunch of those. Good, except that you are likely not going to be the only person on the server with that idea. Finding an illegal surveillance mission might be as hard as getting a new 3090 graphics card at list price, so you need to have a plan B. Always have a plan B. Step 4. Be on the lookout for possible new opportunities. The wipe is coming with a new release, and new releases mean new features. The most obvious example of this is medical. We will have no idea how profitable being a medic will be in the game. It might be the smartest road to economic rebound, or it might be the dumbest. We just don't know, but I'm not melting my cutlass until I see. Step 5. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. 
with the UEC wipe will also be a merits wipe. So just do criminal mission or 10, get caught, and then earn merits like a madman to sell. Zero upfront cost, you don't even have to buy the multi-tool. And at least for now, players outside the prison can bank unlimited merits for future use. I don't expect that to last forever though. The point is, don't be afraid of taking the road less traveled. There'll be less competition. Step six, practice your plan. Now you may be wondering, how do I do that? Well, the answer is the open PTU. The CIG team is going to want to rehearse the process of wiping the database and refine and document it. After all, they haven't done a wipe in nearly two years too. So expect that there will be wipes in the open PTU, possibly a wipe with every single letter release. Use those wipes to practice and refine your recovery plan. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verse. This is Daniel Raymond for Ray's Guide.